A very good afternoon to everyone. I was indeed uh, very happy to be here on this platform and ICT Academy. I've been involved in very early stages. It's good to see that they've grown in scope and activities and they've become a prominent uh, entity across India now. So congratulations to the leadership team and the team members uh, for making this progress all along and continually innovating and taking us all on this journey together. And I'm here actually, I mean, I'm known to speak very short speeches and uh, my uh, friends and colleagues tell me as I age it's getting shorter and shorter and it's also already well past the time so I'll keep it short but I'll be more than happy to, I'm more effective, I'm more enjoyed more in an interactive session so I will be happy to interact with you on stage or off stage also. Uh, just before I get into the thing, I just want to set up the uh, general context. All of us, are, I mean, we're all from educators, mostly in this thing. I've also come from that background. I have also been an entrepreneur and now as a part of Thai, as an organization, as a mentoring organization worldwide, also involved in part of the ecosystem. Uh, why is, I mean, we, are, we all know that suddenly everybody talks about entrepreneurship, startup India, not just in India, across the globe, every country, everywhere you go, entrepreneurship is the talk of the town. Every magazine, journey, everything, media, everywhere talks about it. But entrepreneurship is not something new, especially for a city like Coimbatore. It's been there for a long, long time. We all evolved and enjoyed and benefited from it. So why suddenly this so much focus on entrepreneurship? Basically, if it, I mean, what is happening is that the entire economy is changing. It's no more, it's basically, if you look at the wealth of the countries across the globe, it's more towards the capital and less towards labor. It's more creation of capital rather than being employed. So that is the trend already happened, whether we like it or not, that is the way everything is evolving, ever growing, so we need to be, be ready. We can't be just be workers, laborers, working on a specific, we may do a great job, but still the world is moving in a different way and we have to prepare ourselves, our students and our youngsters on this journey, which requires uh, essentially, uh, I mean, all, all the speakers mentioned about a lot of various, I mean, very succinctly put together various pointers towards what makes an entrepreneur success and the potential failures and so on. My experience with entrepreneurship, especially in Coimbatore in the last two years as a president of Thai, has been a, is a vibrant community, entrepreneur community. I myself know personally, interact with about over 60 uh, startups in Coimbatore area. But if you look at the, the profile and how they grow, they all start, there are few characteristics which are there. There are some are rebels who are doing something just to make a point, either they are rebelling against society or the parents or whatever, they want to show that they can stand on their own. So they go, a lot of people go with that objective, not because they're going to solve a bigger problem or something that just they want to make a point about their own perceptions and opinions. The others, are, that I've seen some are gamblers. Uh, basically, they have access to certain capital and uh, they want to be part of this exciting world of entrepreneurship and uh, they make a lot of noise, a lot of things, but nothing, outcome, useful outcome doesn't come out of it. But all of, these are not the only, there are a number of different types. There are others come from traditional family background, entrepreneurs, new generation, entrepreneurs who come from a family, traditional families who are already big in business. There are others, uh, techno entrepreneurs, agriculture entrepreneurs, all these various people have come into this forum. It's a very vibrant community. They all collaborate with each other very aggressively, very effectively. But still the, the journey, I mean, what is lacking is that identification of problems. Uh, I read somewhere some time ago that uh, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is about mindset, it's not about skill set. But a lot of us, a lot of our young entrepreneurs start with the skill set as a thing because I know Android, I can build an app, so I'm going to do something in that space. Well, that is not enough to make a successful business. So one has to look at the right mindset, exactly like what Mr. Vaidhir, you have to start with a problem, not with an idea. The problem and how to solve that problem with an idea, innovative idea is what is required. That is learning something people are finding the hard way. They start with the people got together because they know something and they want to do this and showcase what is that they can do without really solving a problem and that leads to failures. 
The other attitude I see is that people, because of all the talk about failure is the first stepping stone for success and so on, people don't start with success as their motivation. They always think, okay, it's okay to fail, it's a learning thing. I will, next thing I will make it bigger. But the entire process kind of reversed. So what they, they work towards failure rather than success. They're not intentionally, but that's, they kind of compromise and think that, okay, failure is fine, that's something which we can, I will build next big thing. So obviously that's nothing. You have to do everything you can, including the, you have to have the luck on top of it, everything for you to succeed. In spite of all that you failure, yes, that is part of your success story. But if you don't give that seriousness to the effort, and you're just taking it casually to see that to be there and say it's a learning experience, I want to learn this and that. And that thing, not only you are letting yourself down, the people whom you are associating yourself with, your co-founders, colleagues, everybody is going to be let down. So these are some of the things which is happening in the ecosystem here. It's a question of maturity as you grow and more and more success stories come. People will learn and more and then get to do bigger and better things and cheaper things too. And given that, the scenario here in Coimbatore and region like this is that there's an active uh, ecosystem here. There's a lot of interest here. It's just that collectively we all have to work, identify certain focus areas, work towards that to make it uh, happen, make it a great success story. Given that, uh, I just want to also take this time to point out to you what is the tie as an organization do? Why am I here in this, uh, this platform? It's Thai is nothing but the Hindus entrepreneurs. It is an organization started about 16 years ago by the early successful entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley who came together and they put together this organization, a non-profit organization, with the sole purpose of nurturing entrepreneurship worldwide. So the South Asia-based that entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs came together and said, right now it is as uh, 13 presence in 13 countries, about 66 chapters all over the world. Coimbatore is one other thing. What does the Thai do, Thai chapter do? We have members, senior members, charter members who are leaders in their own field, entrepreneurs who are successful. We have Mr. Murugalandam, our next keynote speaker here, he is also a charter member. We, these charter members are available free of cost at any time to mentor startups. Of course, you mutually convenient time and all this thing have to be worked out, but they are, they are willing to volunteer that time to interact with the young entrepreneurs and institutions to mentor them on this journey towards entrepreneurship. This is primarily they do across the world, not only in India, you can go anywhere in the world and you can still drop on this, uh, 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 drop on the services of Thai chapter. The other thing we do is educating. That's where we have the institutional membership, where we interact, we closely work with institutions, number of institutions, and we provide them a hand-holding to again embark the, their initiatives so that their students can benefit from this. Ultimately, this is a very collective, we have to all be part of the ecosystem, we have to constantly build, innovate, and so on. And going back to the point of the world moving towards capital, this thing, and the labor, a lot of, I mean, it doesn't mean that the jobs are going to work. There's, basically, there's no long-term job stability anymore. With all kind of automation, AI, and all you're talking about, every job is going to be disrupted. Thing. So, as a collectively, we have to prepare our younger generations, uh, including ourselves, for the new challenges, and all of us to be move on this entrepreneurial journey, which involves not just always starting an independent business. You could be a big, uh, you could be working in an organization and be still be a disruptive enough to be called as an entrepreneur. You can still make changes within the organization, whether it's a big business or a bureaucracy, doesn't matter. You could still, it's not all about starting an independent business is the only thing about entrepreneurship. One last thought I want to leave with you, and uh, is that I just recently saw this, uh, the greatest boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali, when he passed away a few weeks ago, there was a memorial service, there's one young lady came up and said, uh, impossible, she has never met Muhammad Ali, he's just been influenced and family was kind enough to let her give us some time to speak on the occasion. She made a statement, impossible is not a fact, it is an opinion, which means that always we can overcome, doesn't matter, whatever it is, we're all here to support, provide, to all the entrepreneurs as well as the educators here to see, take you all in the journey. 
Thank you very much.